I have a mixture of sand, pebbles and iron nails. So fourth mixture I am taking sand plus some pebbles and iron nails. Okay, this kind of mixture you have. You have sand, pebbles and iron nails. So when you see iron there, then first method to you can use here is magnetic separation. So you will use a magnet which will take away the iron nails. Now iron nails are done and then you are left with sand and pebbles or crushed stones are there. Crushed stone can also be written here. So here I will use the method of sieving. I will use a sieve because sand is fine and it can pass through the sieve easily and pebbles will be left behind. So after doing sieving you will have sand plus this pebbles. Now they all are separated. Right? So three things were there and three are here. They are all separate. Right? Four methods are done. I hope I am clear with all this. Now I will take up the fifth mixture here. The fifth mixture is uh, I have sand. Let's take sand plus common salt. Common salt is sodium chloride. Common salt. Plus I have iodine. So out of them there is you know something which can be easily separated in the beginning and that is iodine. Iodine is a sublimate. So first method to use here is sublimation. When we do sublimation then common salt and sand will be here on one side and iodine will sublime. So iodine gets separated. Iodine is separated. I am left with salt and sand. Then dissolve them in water. So I will put them in water. Okay. Salt will dissolve in water. Sand will not dissolve. So here you have all three things to be done. So we have sedimentation, decantation. Okay. You have decantation. Then you have filtration. So three techniques will be used here and you will after doing this you will have sand separated but the salt is still not recovered. So I have salt plus water. Okay. Salt was not recovered because salt has dissolved in water. So what we will do? Evaporation. The last step is to be used here and that is evaporation which will give you the salt. So here you get all three things separated. Iodine, then sand and then common salt. All these three things are separated. Right? Okay. So I have done five methods here. Now the sixth one. One more we will discuss. The sixth method here is or the mixture is let's take very common question which the children generally ask salt plus sugar. If you have salt and sugar mixture then what will you do? So I will add a few more things into it. I have salt, sugar plus I have you know naphthalene. Okay. Naphthalene is there and some iron filings are there. Okay, this is a complex mixture. The last one that I am taking here is a complex one because I have four things here. So the first method to use here is magnetic separation. Use a magnet because you see iron, use the magnet in the beginning. Okay, so you have iron separated. 
iron is separated and I am left with three things now. I have salt that is common salt plus sugar and naphthalene. So out of them, out of them this naphthalene is a sublimate. So use the method of sublimation. Okay, use the method of sublimation. Now what do I get? After this, naphthalene will get separated because it is a sublimate and it will go into the funnel. Okay, it will evaporate, it will change into gas, then it will con uh, get collected in the funnel. So this is separated. So you can put a circle around this also. Now you have salt and sugar. Now this is a big question. Because both of them get dissolved in water. What is to be used? We have to use a solvent which will dissolve one component but not the other one. Right? So, I will use a prop, uh, the solvent ethanol. So, ethanol is one solvent which can dissolve sugar but not salt. So, sugar will dissolve in ethanol and this will be left behind. So, when we are using a solvent, then we have to use all these three things that is sedimentation, decantation and filtration. So, I will take up, okay. So, ethanol is used and then, okay, sedimentation is there, then decantation is there and then filtration is there. Filtration. After doing this, you get uh, sugar plus ethanol. Sugar plus ethanol and salt is separated. So, you get the third component also. This one here you will do evaporation. So evaporation is done. Evaporation will give you sugar. So the last component that I will get is sugar. Okay. So iron is separated by magnetic, magnetic separation. Then naphthalene is separated by sublimation. And then salt is separated by sedimentation, decantation, filtration. And sugar and ethanol were left behind. Then evaporation will separate sugar. Okay. So this is how we do the flow chart. Or the we use different you know orders for separating the mixtures. Or the components of a mixture. Okay.